Okay, this how-to video is going to go through one of the piece bias examples that can be found in the uh, the analog design and simulation using AutoCAD capture and piece bias that was written by uh, Dennis Fitzpatrick, who's a, an ex Cadence AE. So if we go to page fifty-seven, uh, we're going to do um, a passive twin T-notch filter, and we're going to create an AC sweep to plot the frequency response. <coughs> so we'll do a new project. Let's just call this T-notch. Um, need to make sure it's an analog or mixed AD project type. I've got a different location. Let's click OK. We'll do a blank project. And then we'll start to draw our circuit. So, two options place part. We can go and pick the parts that we need, add the libraries that we need, and draw it that way. Or from a piece by point of view, we can now use in 16.6 place piece by component. Um, I, and I get most of the piece by parts that are available from here. So, let's use a source, voltage source. We want an AC source. We want the default ground symbol from the source library. Put it on the pin, click to drag it down to create the wire. Uh, then we need some, some passive components. So place piece bus component, passives, and then we'll use resistor. Now in this example, I want four resistors of the same value. So I'm going to make the change once, and then we'll just use copy and paste, standard Windows functions, Control C, Control V. R to rotate. And then copy and paste again. We also need some capacitors. So much the same. Let's make a change to the value. And then control C, control V. So from a wiring point of view, we can just drop them on, drop the resistor on, or the pins on one on top of another, or we can uh, put the components in and then just wire them up. So W key to wire. And there's our circuit ready for simulation. So we'll just save that. And then we'll create a new simulation profile. So piece by new simulation profile. Let's call this AC sweep. And then we'll edit the simulation uh, settings. So let's make this an AC sweep. Starting at one in frequency 100, steps of 100. Right, so then we need to place a, a marker. So we want a a different marker, not one of the default markers. We're going to use a piece by markers advanced, and we're going to place a dB magnitude of voltage onto the output pin. Let's actually label that as output. Okay, let's run the simulation. So when that's complete, you see the standard kind of notch filter response. Um, and then what we need to do now is determine the frequency at the deepest part of the notch. So we can use the the trace cursor options. And there's a display icon. We can use the icon up here, and then that then enables the rest of the display options. So we want to find the cursor trough. That puts the marker at the bottom. Um, and you can see from the probe window output, this is the kind of response. This window can be literally just clicked and dragged um, and have it attached anywhere in, in, the, in the simulation. So let's just uh, drop that back in there. We can also zoom in if we want to zoom in and have a look at this. So let's click on the zoom in button and just zoom in. We can kind of start to see where the cursor location is. Let's just do a zoom to fit to get back to where we want to be. So what we're going to do now is delete this trace and add the trace manually just to show you the, some of the functionality. So we can select the trace name and hit the delete key and then manually add the trace. So we'll go to trace, add trace. This is a list of all the 
the simulation outputs that we can do. So what we'll do is we will deselect uh, current and power and you can see there's our V out. We can click on V out, click OK and we're now looking at this. So what we need to do now is we want to see this trace displayed um, using uh, decibels. So what we'll do is we'll just get rid of the trace again. This time we'll go to trace, add trace. We'll use these analog operations, operators or functions. We'll select DB, that adds it into the trace expression at the bottom. And then we'll add DV out. So we then get this kind of expression at the bottom. All the brackets are sorted out automatically. We'll click OK and you can then see the simulation based on the notch attenuation in decibels.